Hi everyone. And welcome back to another episode of All About the MSO, here in my conservatory. <laughs> Too nice to be in the office today. So we've talked about the MSO in our other videos, from its application to its many uses. And I just want to mention again, what a pretty amazing substance it is. I mean, its ability to pass through the skin and other membranes within the body is really quite impressive. Now the skin is made up of three layers. The epidermis, now this is the thin outermost layer, which consists of sheets of plate-like cells that provide a waterproof barrier. Then there's the dermis. This is found beneath the epidermis and contains connective tissue, hair follicles, blood vessels, lymphatic vessels and sweat glands. Then underneath those two is the hypodermis. This is the deeper subcutaneous tissue that is made up of fat and connective tissue, which anchors the skin to the underlying muscle tissue beneath. Now DMSO is able to penetrate quickly through all these skin barriers and get to where it's needed. Now the function of the skin is to provide protection against microorganisms, dehydration, ultraviolet light and mechanical damage. It's the first physical barrier that the human body has against the external environment. The sensation of pain, temperature, touch and deep pressure also starts with the skin and it's one of the most vulnerable parts of the body and can be affected by a wide range of disorders and conditions. As well as being damaged by physical injury, it is susceptible to infection by bacteria, viruses and other microorganisms such as fungi. These conditions of the skin can be localised, affecting only a small site or widespread over the body. Athlete's foot is caused by fungi that normally live on the skin, hair and nails, called dermatophytes. Now, when the environment they live in gets warm and moist, they grow out of control and start to cause symptoms. DMSO can be used to treat athlete's foot by helping to discourage the growth of the parasite and stopping the growth of the fungi. DMSO is a very effective treatment on bruises. As well as its anti-inflammatory and pain relieving properties, it can also aid in dissolving bruises, helping to make them disappear in a much shorter period of time than without using it. DMSO is also a very effective treatment for acne, especially when combined with sulphur. Now sulphur has been used to treat acne since ancient times, it has antimicrobial properties and it can exfoliate and remove excess oil and when combined with DMSO can actively reduce spots and swelling overnight. Now it's worth remembering here that the skin on the face is quite sensitive so perhaps a dilution of around 50% DMSO would cause less irritation and maybe application to a test area first to begin with would be advisable. DMSO is also very effective in the treatment of burns and skin lotions containing DMSO have proven to be very successful in treating them. Burns can be very painful injuries, not only from actual tissue damage, but because they can also become infected without proper treatment. Aloe vera has long been used to treat burns and is commonly known as the burn tree and first aid plant. Its properties include anti-inflammatory, increased immune activity, antibacterial, antiviral and decreased histamine. So when aloe vera is combined with DMSO it becomes an even more effective burn therapy because DMSO will help to carry the aloe vera through the skin barrier and using DMSO aloe vera gels and lotions can prevent the formation of blisters from smaller burns. This combination is also effective at relieving the pain of burns and also reduce even prevent in some cases the formation of scar tissue as it helps to prevent the contracture of scar tissue left after the burn. Of course, for some more severe burns that cover a wide area of the body, treatment by a medical professional should be sought immediately. Another property of DMSO is that it is a vasodilator. Now this means it can increase blood flow, allowing blood to more easily reach areas where damage has occurred. In many cases, an injury causes decreased blood flow to the injury site and even more damage can occur because of the lack of blood to the area after the injury and not just from the injury itself. It so happens that DMSO is used to treat one particular problem and ends up helping to treat a completely different health problem. 
That's why it's been referred to as nature's healer and other such things. Of course, there's been plenty of shysters and con men in the past that have claimed that it can do miracles, but we're not here to give credence to them. What we're aiming to achieve is to promote DMSO by providing factual information on its many uses and benefits. If you want any more information or perhaps have a request for the content of our next video, please don't hesitate to get in touch with us. You can look us up on Facebook and Instagram by searching for All About DMSO. We'd love to hear from you and always appreciate any feedback you may have. Please hit the like and subscribe button if you want to see any more of our videos in the future. Bye for now.